In today's Pokemon pack opening, I'm going to attempt something that I have never done in the entirety of me collecting Pokemon cards, and that is pull the rarest Pokemon pack you can ever pull, the God Pack. Now, if you don't know what a God Pack is, it is a pack that can only be pulled in Japanese sets. You can't get it in English, and it is where there is a pack that has so many rare hits inside. And today, I'm going to be opening up Pokemon 151. Let's see if we can do it and hope we can do it for the first time. So here it is, guys, Pokemon 151, my favorite set of 2023 so far honestly this set has been so fun to open it is a throwback to the first generation of pokemon which is the set i grew or the generation i grew up on you have the likes of charizard blastoise venusaur mewtwo mew in my opinion the best pokemon they, they've ever made uh, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite poke or generation is as well because i know some of you guys have different opinions some of you are team gen 1 like myself some of you are gen 2 i know gen 2 doesn't get enough love either but then uh, there are some of you that also love the likes of gen 4 but we're just going to jump straight into it today and hope we can pull some amazing hits including my first ever god pack i've opened up so much 151 especially over on whatnot if you guys aren't following me on whatnot make sure you check the description click on that link oh we are is that a sign we're gonna get some greatness today we get a reverse hollow charmander but yeah like i said make sure you drop me a follow on whatnot you can actually get 10 pound free credit if you sign up using the link in my description um we open up a lot of 151 over there we've pulled every best possible hit you can get um the the masterful pikachu the mew the charizard we've pulled everything apart from a god pack so hopefully i can do it today um for the first time so let's get into it we have a pidgey uh, pokeball reverse hollow if you don't know much about this set as well there are two different types of reverse hollows there is pokeball which is this and then there is a masterball reverse hollow which is one per booster box so one every 20 packs um and the pikachu is the rarest one and the most expensive one which goes for around like 250 pounds which is crazy or 250 dollars so yeah if we can pull that in today's episode that would be insane we get a bulbasaur tentacle we get a volpix and there is our master ball as you can see it has a master ball symbol right there and we get the volpix actually that's a really nice one to get and shout out to some of you guys so i know some of you are collecting a master ball set and uh, i actually think that's a really good thing and it's going to be a valuable like kind of like set to have uh, in the future for sure because it's the first of its kind and i don't even think we're going to get it in the english um equivalent of pokemon 151 which comes out super soon it comes out in september we're super close to it and i guess by the time this uh, this video comes out obsidian flames has literally just dropped so i'm really excited to open that when i get back from japan we have a goldine and a moltres hollow sand slash tentacruel and that is that pack still no look of a god pack in sight come on and the cool thing about getting a god pack is you get two sars from the evolution line of the starter pokemon so you can get like bulbasaur ivysaur venusaur uh, then you can get charmander charmeleon charizard oh we get the dragonair ar i love this card this is a really really nice ar or you can get the blastoise uh war turtle and squirtle evolution line as well so that is really cool about the god packs because there's so many rare hits inside which means you can get some big big value for money in those packs and it just looks cool i've seen so many people open up god packs and i just haven't been that lucky yet <laughs> like i said i must have opened near around whew, maybe it's coming up for like 50 booster boxes of 151 maybe even more i've lost count that's how much i've opened we get the Olish reverse hollow and our first EX is the Kangaskhan. I love the artwork on this. Look at that. Such a nice card. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much difference there is between the English and Japanese 151. In terms of like texture, in terms of like the look of the EX cards, is it going to be like a different kind of pattern on it who knows we'll, we'll have to find out when that set comes out and who's excited for the set i actually am going to attempt to do a master set of the english 151 i really wanted to do the japanese but um it's actually quite expensive and i think the english is going to be a lot more uh, manageable in terms of like money wise all right we get the articuno hollow whatever the heck that is and then a pincer all right so so far we've had one ar one ex we are still due some bangers and i'm hoping one of those packs has a god pack inside we have a tangler i'm actually just love opening up this set so much it's so much fun we get the pony to reverse and a blastoise shout out to blastoise man or tour tank if you guys have been following the channel for a little bit i think tour tank is german or french i can't remember but it sounds cool but yeah blastoise is finally getting some love in this set and the artwork on all of the versions of blastoise is really nice the full art sr version you have the sar version which is done by mitsuhiro rita really really nice card that and then also the EX as well, which is really cool. Magma. And we get the I. This box is crazy. I love this. Ivysaur, AR, 
and then the Flareon. As, as hollows go, this is actually a really, really nice one. This and the Mewtwo is probably my favorite hollows from the set. I think they look really cool, but this Ivysaur AR is super nice. Oh, wow, this box has been crazy. If we can get a really nice SR or SAR, this might be a really, really, really good box. Uh, but then hopefully we can also get that god pack like i said that's what i'm hunting for today guys today is the day it has to be where i pull my first ever god pack in like, literally i've never opened one i've never ever pulled one there's been loads of people that have done it we get the weeping bell and then the star me gold duck and then the war turtle that's a cool card right there but yeah i've never ever opened up a god pack before and you can only get them i believe in like holiday Japan japanese sets so the likes of um shiny star v v max climax uh, v star universe and also like 151 so i don't think you can get them in like the obsidian flame equivalent which i think is called oh the arbok i can't remember what it's called but it's got a really cool name uh we got hypno and then whatever the heck that is we'll put that right there we got some nice hits but still no big big hitter or still no god pack is this going to be the one we have the ghastly with the Kamiya artwork caterpie we have the fossil oh my goodness we are hitting the best ARs right now. We get the War Turtle once again by Mitsuhiro Arita. Look at this card. That is a stunner right there. We get the Jolteon, which is a nice holo too. The Nidorino and then the Omastar. No, oh, is that Omastar? Omanite. I think that's actually Omanite. Okay, come on. Is this the pack? Do you know what? I'm going to sprinkle some spice and hope for a god pack. I mean, I don't know if my spice has that much power to summon a god pack, but we'll have to see. We have a Magnemite, Rattata, Coughing. So no god pack. We get the Dugget Trio. Mr. Mime, yuck, and then the Cloyster to go with the Charmeleon, which in my opinion, this is like top five Charmeleon artworks out there. That is super sick. Yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're going to be collecting a master set of uh, the English 151. Like I said, I think the release date is September 22nd, so not long at all until that set comes out. We get the Magma and the Wigglytuff blowing in some air about to say boy if you don't right okay let's whack that right there but i'm definitely going to try and attempt to to get a master set. i think this is a good set that everyone's going to come back to and i actually think 151 is probably the best holiday set since hidden fates which came out in 2019 but maybe i'm just being a little bit biased because uh i love gen 1 so much but uh my champ we have the executor and then the need reno I need arena sorry so yeah let me know if you guys are excited for it and what's your favorite holiday set being too i love hearing your guys opinions i love hearing if you guys are collecting stuff like what's your uh, what you guys are after at the moment and uh hopefully we get something huge here we get the daisy sr look at that the full art daisy oak very nice beautiful beautiful hit we get the erica and the choke as well let's leave that up so we get an sr in this box this box has been crazy all right here we go. Can we pull an SAR or a, even better, a God Pack? Like I said, you can actually get gold cards in the set as well, which are called URs. Um, and that has a Mew. That has also the Psychic Energy. And then I think it's a Pokeball or it might be called Switch. I can't remember which it is. It's a, bit, a picture of a Pokeball. I just don't know if it's uh, called Switch or, or Pokeball. But here we go. Right. Can we get a God Pack? Nope. All right. We get the Magikarp. And then the Beedrill, Dragonair's a really nice card, and the Dugong too. Show yourself, God Pack. This has to be it. This has to be it. We get the Charmander, Poliwag, Eevee, Nidorina, the Kabutops. Oh, nothing big in that pack. Okay, it is hopefully going to be in this pack right here. Come on. For the win, we get a Staryu. Dig ugh, no God Pack. Can we get something big? Oh, we get the Auntie Jinx to finish it off, guys. No God Pack. The hunt continues. I will pull one eventually. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.